I'm Dr. Jay Greenspan. I'm chairman of the Department of Pediatrics uh, at Thomas Jefferson University and the Moore's Children's Clinics, the AI DuPont Hospital for Children. Here at the Jefferson Hospital, we have about 2,200 deliveries. Many of them are high risk. We also transport in about a third of the babies here at Jefferson. Uh, we have many kids less than 1,500 grams, but we also provide uh, term babies with head cooling as needed, ECMO, and surgery, so a level three plus uh, nursery. We have about 800 admissions a year, and our la average length of st stay is about 20, 15 to 20 days, depending on the uh, type of baby. So we have an average census of around 35. Um, all the technologies that we need to help care for them, including a great nursing staff, uh, f several full-time respiratory therapists here at all time, and of course a great attending resident and fellow staff. Uh, we're going to be talking to you today about thermoregulation, uh, p particularly as it has to do with the preterm uh, baby. The purpose of this talk is really to go over some of the basic physiology uh, that you'd need to know to adequately care for these babies with, um, the, in terms of their heat needs and talk about some practical considerations when you uh, go to warm uh, these babies, particularly the small, very small preterm babies. And at the end, we'll talk somewhat about uh, recent research and considerations for your clinical management of those babies. So when you look at thermoregulation, um, most of us who work in the NICUs really view this as a routine, something that has um, uh, is taken care of mostly by the uh, non-physician uh, staff. It's managed by the nurses, by uh, other therapists that will come by, and it's really almost um, a second nature thing for us. It's something that is, almost, is often not even in the order set, that uh, it's assumed that a baby will come up and a thermo needs, uh, thermoregulation needs will be met uh, by the team. And the team, meaning the nurses and the other staff, will uh, put the baby in the proper uh, s situation so that th they're thermo uh, thermally regulated.